what it's going to look like tonight is I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself so you can uh, decide whether or not I've earned the right to tell you how to get and keep an agent, my background, and, and what has me stand up here in front of you. Then I'm going to go over the marketplace, in particular the New York marketplace, although what I'm going to be talking about this evening works in any market. If you're in Los Angeles, if you work in Canada, if you work down in Florida, many of you will work in other places. So this is information that works everywhere. We're going to talk about how much money an agent needs to not only survive but thrive as an agent. We're going to talk about your product, who you are as a product. Then we're going to go into branding that product. We're going to talk about branding yourself with that, with that particular picture once you've figured out who you are and what you're selling. And then your resume and how it can be positioned to attract the attention of an agent as well as casting directors. We're going to go into the six essentials and one recommendation I have that you should have prepared before you even look for an agent so that when you get called in to an interview that you're really ready. You don't want to blow that opportunity. It's hard to get through the door. So once you have that opportunity, these are the things I recommend you have in place. And then once you do start having that relationship with that agent, whether it's freelance or sign, uh, we will talk about how to keep that agent and how to keep the lines of communication open. Sound good? Imagine. How many people are extremely talented? <laughs> Great! Here's the problem with that. Talent's about fourth on the list of what attracts an agent and what gets you ahead in your career. Sometimes being extremely talented is also known as the booby prize. Because what I have come to find is if you're talented, really talented, you rely on that talent to propel your career forward, and you won't work as hard in the other areas. I've seen a lot less talented people get a lot more work because they're working the business side of the business, and extremely talented people who think that, oh, I'm extremely talented, they'll find me, or my talent will win out. So um, we're going to talk about all of the things besides your extreme talent that's going to get you in the room and get you jobs and get you an agent. Okay. The first thing I want to start off uh, tonight is having you start to open your mind and take on a business conversation. So it's show business. It's not show art. As artists, as performers, we want to be fully self-expressed. We want to get up there on that stage and make people happy. We want to make a nice living at it, too. And often, we just don't know how to do that. And it's not because we're not talented. We know the same three things that everybody knows. Buy backstage, go to open calls, send your headshots and resumes to some list, and hope for the best, right? So I want you to know there's so much more you can be doing.